Well, hello there, people from the internet. I am the Russian Sniper, and this is some CSGO Competitive. Now, for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you remember a couple of months back, I started a little series, just under two months ago, a little series with CSGO, wanting to see if I can really get into the game. For somebody that hasn't played the game, I haven't played any CSGO, although I do own all the CSs that have been released in sort of the last 10 years. I never really got into playing it. Some of my friends were playing it, and it was just one of those games that I never really got into. So I decided, yes, I'm going to go into it, I'm going to get ranked, I'm going to get placed, see what I am, and see if I can get out of silver without me having any knowledge of CSGO whatsoever. My, I do have to sort of thank my subscribers for sort of giving me pointers and posting comments and all that sort of stuff, but this is the way I did it. So once I got to my 10 wins, uh, then I just kept on playing, kept on playing, and then the last match, which you can see I've posted already when I got ranked again, to Silver Master, and from that point, when I got to that point, I started writing down the results of all the matches that I played in competitive. Now, chances are that you're not going to get ranked really quick, and it's going to be a long wait before you do it, but luckily for me, it didn't take that long, so here are the results. Once I've got to uh, Silver Master Elite, then I had a win, a draw, a win, a loss, a surrender, a loss, a win, and a win. And I got ranked up, which you can see it in this one. And in this one, I'm a Gold Nova. Now, I know Gold Nova is not the best rank in the world or anything like that. You're still a nub, and I still believe myself to be a nub, and I have no idea what I'm doing in CSGO. But it is possible for you to play the game, get into it a little bit, understand the game a little bit, and then don't be the guy that's going to be absolutely useless to your team and get kicked out after three or four rounds because you haven't gotten any kills and you're kind of flashing your own teammates and you're throwing the wrong smokes it's definitely is going to take you some time to get into the game for those of you that played it for quite a while i mean i've had messages on facebook and twitter and all that that people have been playing it for a couple of hundred hours and they're still stuck in the silver league as it were best i could do best advice i can say is if you do team up with your friends and they are higher ranked than you don't worry if you suck like me i mean you can see at the end of the match i was almost stone dead last actually i wasn't last uh, and these uh, i mean noddy and the artful dodger they're ranked a bit higher than me they're ranked to nova 3 i think Chances are that teaming up with your friends is guaranteed to get you tougher opponents. Now, those tougher opponents might kill you a bit more than you die in the Silver Leagues, but you can only learn from these guys. Learn the position, learn where they flash, learn where they throw the smoke grenade, learn how to play the game a little bit better. You can only learn that by playing with people that are higher ranked than you. Yes, you can play with your friends if they don't Silver, but if you have friends that are a little bit higher ranked than you, they can only help you by playing with you and letting you do your own thing. By doing your own thing, you're going to learn. In time, you will learn and you will get better at it. That's about as much as I can say about getting out of the Silver Leagues into the sort of Nova, which is still crap, but still, you're out of Silver and that's still something. So, the other thing what I want to mention is that this is one of those games that you're never going to struggle to find a match. You know, it's always going to be a match around... CSGO is still one of the biggest communities out there. There's plenty of matches going on. This game will run on a fucking potato. It's got a good engine. It has been improved over the years, but still, you can run this game almost on anything. It doesn't require you to have a beastly PC or anything like that for you to run it. Overall, it's one of those games that you either love it or you hate it. It's just that simple. As far as I've said before, try and play with your friends as much as you can. Try and not let your friends to just boost you up to a certain point because you might not play with your friends every day. And when you play on your own and you find out that you've been ranked up to go up to Nova 2, Nova 3, whatever the case may be, you'll end up there on your own and you'll be sucking really bad because your team carried you to that point. Now, if you're still undecided in getting CSGO, there's a link in the description to my G2A page. It's only going to be 10, 11 bucks, so it's going to be one of those games that's going to be really cheap. And you're going to get the full game. There's no DLC. There's no nothing. As for time spent for me to get ranked, get plays, get out of silver and all that. Is 37 competitive wins it took me to get to gold Nova 1. I would say it took me about 6 or 7 weeks with playing a lot of deathmatch. And just understanding a lot of the maps and all that. Because I haven't played any of the maps prior to this. And I would say about 50 or 60 hours of game time for me to get out of silver. 
Hopefully that guys helps you a little bit and if it does give it a thumbs up post a comment and I will see you guys in the next one out Boyakasha.